trellis system is great for vegetable production in small places because it keeps the crops up off the ground and that's good for two reasons. Number one, we don't have much space in this orchard for vegetables so we can concentrate it. Number two, we can have the crops go up rather than staying on the ground and competing with our perennial clover and grass living mulch. And number three, keeping the crops up off the ground diminishes any disease problems that we might have that are coming from the soil. With this trellis system, we have far fewer culls and almost everything we pick is a number one quality. So in this mix I've got 50 pounds of soft rock phosphate, which is the yellow stuff on the left. The, what he's doing right now is kelp meal. Then there's gypsum. So kelp meal is 40 pounds. 32 pounds of gypsum. A pound of boron, so soluble, I got a pound. Five pounds of manganese sulfate. One pound of zinc sulfate and a half a pound of uh, copper sulfate. The 10 foot tall T posts cost me about 13 bucks each and are spaced 12 feet apart. And then on the ends, I'll put in 10 foot angles. I'll show that. This is the newest vertical garden for 2014. I uh, took out some peach trees, 30 of them, got it ready um, last fall and planted New Zealand white clover, a perennial clover uh, in October. Put these hay bales to, uh, to kind of mark where the trellises are gonna go. And then now I'm gonna move the hay bales, uh, mow the whole place, and then till just where the hay bales are is where the trellis is gonna go. Till or not to till is always the question. We'd prefer not to till if we can get away with it. One of the advantages of tilling a little bit here for the cucumbers is that seed doesn't compete well with this kind of a no-till mat. We're gonna take this bale of rotting alfalfa, we're gonna put it in between these sprinklers to kill the weeds, and then in a month we'll pull the alfalfa back and we'll till it up with a shovel, the soil, and make a good seed bed. The challenge of reduced tillage in organic vegetable production is dealing with the residue. It's both our best friend and can be a challenge. So this is the kind of soil that we see after years of no tillage and allowing the residue to be mowed and put back to the soil. This is our third and final planting of cucumbers that was planted a month after the first planting. And you can see this is where we put the alfalfa hay down to smother out the clover. That was there for a little over a month. I pulled the alfalfa, the alfalfa hay back and put it on the clover to keep it from going into the plants. And over here you can see that it's coming in so I can use the hay to smother that out. So this is our planting of cucumbers that we did six weeks ago. This is the first planting. As you can see, the clover is starting to encroach on the planting, but it's okay because the plants are already well established. This is our first cucumber coming on right now, and this is the next crop coming soon. The trellis system results in perfect, straight, beautiful cucumbers about 75% of the time.
aphids moving in in the late fall, but our resident ladybugs are still here, as are spiders and carabid beetles. I built this with one piece of three quarter inch plywood leaning up inside of a 1200 pound trailer and then just added some pieces till it was kind of stable, uh, a top that's just kind of light and lets air go through. Needed a few holes back here to let the air kind of pass through and then it collects pretty good just with this simple system that usually goes to a bagger on the back of this little mower. So this is grass from just making one pass through the orchard. And so once a year, if we make one pass through, that won't take much fertility away from the orchard. Use this instead of the alfalfa, um, baled alfalfa, to smother out the weeds. And it works just as well. And we get it right from the farm. 2015, and we're mowing the trellis garden to get ready for the new season. We'll have tomatoes and peppers here this year where there were cucumbers last year and lots of growth, lots of green grass and clover from over the winter is going back to the soil and recycling nutrients. This is part of our no-till system.